Here is the latest from Oil City News on K2 Radio. On Friday, the Bighorn National Forest announced that the Elk Fire, which ignited from a lightning strike on September 27th and subsequently burned nearly 100,000 acres of forest and ranch land, is now completely contained. Uh, Despite this, nearby residents should still expect heavier-than-usual back road traffic while crews continue to clean up. Part of the decision uh, to call the Elk Fire 100% contained is due to longer and colder nights snowfall and future expected precipitation. The last remaining areas to be contained were in steep remote locations that are difficult for crews to access. So because of this, time was needed for moisture and cold temps to do their work in ensuring the threat was totally gone. Um, It has been taken out now. Crews still have much work to do on the back roads of the forest, transporting log decks, which will remove fuels vulnerable to future fires. Red Grade Road in particular is going to experience heavy traffic through mid-December. Also, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department is planning uh, emergency feeding for elk in the northern Bighorn Mountains in response to the late season winter range impacts from the elk fire. The feeding operations will be short term and only in targeted areas. Right now, they are only planning to feed during the 2024 and 25 winter, not extending into future years. Uh, This is a decision that was made due to extenuating circumstances and after extensive evaluation of the properties by local wildlife managers. Uh, Sheridan Regional Wildlife Supervisor Dustin Shorma said that because the elk fire burned so late in the season, there wasn't time for any significant regrowth of vegetation prior to winter. And that creates high potential for conflict as elk seek to winter elsewhere, potentially overwhelming adjacent private lands that either didn't burn or also experienced loss of vegetation that they need to conserve for their livestock operations. On a related note, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department is inviting the public to an information meeting about mule deer conservation throughout the state. It's going to happen on December 6th in Casper, scheduled for 6 to 8 p.m. at the Casper Game and Fish's regional office. That's at 3030 Energy Lane. This is one of a series of talks the department will be hosting throughout the state of Wyoming in the coming months. These discussions are intended to offer an opportunity for the public to engage directly with Game and Fish, share insights, and discuss the future of Wyoming's mule deer management. Local wildlife biologists and game wardens will be available to discuss various aspects of mule deer management and conservation. Participants are invited to share their opinions on the future of mule deer, explore both statewide and regional challenges, and have uh, the opportunity to share their perspective on local mule deer herds. The average price for a gallon of regular gasoline, both nationally and at home here in Natrona County, fell again last week. Nationally, the average fell just 0.7 cents to 302 today, the lowest level since May of 2021. It's the fifth straight week the national average has fallen, bringing it down 15.2 cents from a month ago. It's 27.6 cents a gallon lower than a year ago. National average price of diesel has declined a half a cent in the last week and stands at 351 per gallon. According to petroleum uh, analyst Patrick DeHaan, several states saw gas prices jump or cycle last week, a behavior in which gas prices climbed significantly after falling below a station's replacement price. This led to the national average seeing little meaningful change from last week, with many states experiencing a slower decline, offsetting the few states that did see big jumps. However, the good news is that those states that saw large jumps last week will likely see some of the biggest declines at the pump this week, paving the way for the national average to fall potentially below $3 a gallon just in time for Thanksgiving. Today, AAA reported that Wyoming's average is uh, 3.04 a gallon. That's down 7 cents from last week. Natrona County's average of 2.80 a gallon, down 7 cents, is now the second cheapest in the state. Albany County is currently the winner at $2.79 a gallon, followed by Weston County at 2.85. The cheapest fuel in Natrona County on Monday is 2.69 a gallon at Ridley's Family Market. That's located at 300 Southeast Wyoming Boulevard, followed by 2.70 a gallon at Sam's Club. Read more K2Radio.com. I'm Colby Fedor. This is the story of the one who, as a maintenance specialist for a historic high-rise, knows that vintage charm historically needs constant attention. Which is why, when it's time to upgrade turn-of-the-century mechanicals, they turn to Granger With easy access to a million-plus products and the scale to deliver when and where you need them, the right tools and supplies are never far away. So the one can keep that vintage building running like new. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done.